Hi everyone, Empress Justice here. I was going to do um, a pick a card reading for today in celebration of my fourth anniversary in beginning an entirely new life for myself. It will be four years today that I came to Brighton and I made some massive changes to my life and usually I like to celebrate it. Um, and I thought I would celebrate it with you guys with a pick a card reading. Unfortunately, circumstances uh, had other plans. Life had other plans. First off, uh, my grandfather passed away yesterday morning, I believe. Um, I say I believe because I'm not entirely sure of the details yet. But from to my knowledge, it was yesterday morning that he actually passed. I didn't actually know until this morning. So RIP to my grandfather. Second of all, I'm not feeling great. Emotionally, I'm actually okay. Um, I know that, you know, I, how I'm supposed to feel with regards to my grandfather, but at the moment, um, at the moment, I'm not really close to the situation to grieve like that. Um, I'm sure that when the t time comes closer to the time, there will be some grieving. Um, but as it stands, I'm actually more concerned about my family than me at the moment. So I'm just going to keep a lid on everything that I'm thinking and feeling right now with regards to my grandfather. Um, so my grandfather has passed on RIP to him and I've got the cold, which means that even though emotionally I'm okay, I've been okay all day. Um, physically, um, my immune system is really getting into it with this cold. Like, I mean, my immune system is kicking this cold's ass and while, while that's happening, my body is just tired and run down. So I've got to rest. I've got to rest for the time being. You know, hopefully all this, the crap will be cleared out of my sinuses um, by the time I get ready to travel to London this week, hopefully. Um, but yeah, emotionally I'm okay. It's just, it's just the fucking cold and of course, my concern for everyone else in my family, because truth be told, they were closer to him than I was. They knew him more than I did. So it's, yeah, uh, right now it's about me being there for, for my loved ones as much as I possibly can. And for, you know, for other reasons, I couldn't be there today, which absolutely sucks. I really want to be with them. But yeah, um, also another announcement in august i'm going to be changing my services again now i used to offer astrological services like the big three um like greater astrological charts but i actually stopped doing those and the reason i stopped doing those is because um it didn't make sense in terms of cost efficiency and timing you know it didn't make any sense the type of readings I do, you can't get from anyone, but like astrological readings and nakshatras and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? It takes a lot of time to do. And there are so many people doing them. I mean, with tarot, it's the same thing, but like, you know, I'd rather do tarot for you guys and like do the astrological stuff within the reading. Should you book with me rather than me? doing a whole astrological chart, doing all this extensive work, writing it up and sending it. Do you understand what I mean? So it's just about protecting my time, protecting my peace and my health. I mean, let's face it. So I've nixed the astrological, the major astrological charts. I've nixed that. From now on, it will be a part of my... Um, they will be a part of my one hour readings. So there are three tiers. The first one is the half hour reading. The second one is um, the 45 minute reading. And the third is the hour reading. In the hour reading, you get a tarot reading and you get like more analysis into your big three rather than me writing the shit up. Um, also, I wanted to announce that from August, I'm going to be creating additional services that involve spell casting. Now, I really had to 
ponder this and think about this carefully because first of all the spells that I'm offering putting on the table they are not cheap because of the time and labor it takes to do it they're not cheap okay that's the first thing the second thing is is that when it comes to the spell work not every case will be accepted so what will happen i've written this down by the way what will happen is right is that for spell work for the tariffs right what will happen is that the same discounts will apply for spell work as they do for readings that's the first thing the second thing is is that before i decide to take you on i will need to do an hour-long reading with you plus a consult consultation as to um how prepared you are for me to do the manifestation that comes to 111 pounds right so it will have the same rigorous screening as it does for the ti mailing list right it will have the same rigorous screening um the only difference is is that um time of birth must be added to if you know your time of birth i'm going to need that as well because the consultation is a is a full is a whole thing it's not just tarot and it's not just oracle card readings it's not just astrology it's a whole thing i need a complete picture before i decide whether or not to do a do any spells for you right and um again like i said not all cases are going to be accepted when it comes to spell work okay not all cases are going to be accept accepted and the magic work is pricey i'm not going to hold you it's pricey okay now when it comes to the criteria for the spell work first off you don't need to be on the mailing list but in order to get discounts on services on specific months it's advisable that you be on the mailing list for both uh, real justice to row and empress justice to row it's advisable that you be on the mailing list first of all um second of all is on top of um your email i'm going to need social media handles recent selfie your most recent selfie phone number um and either if you're you know not a testimony but like the what you want to manifest and why you want to manifest it and um what's that what's that i've written can i remember it yeah so it's like the ti screening the spell work screening is like ti screening and the reason i've done this is because unlike other sorcerers or other witches or other spell casters who do this thing of taking your money and just casting shit I'm very specific about the kind of clients that I want to to bring into the fold. Do you understand what I mean? Because even white magic, even prayer, like forget white magic, forget any kind of magic. Prayer comes with risk, like prayer comes with sacrifice, let alone the type of work that I do. In order to pray for something to happen for you, you have to give up something. And quite often people are not prepared for that reality. So my, you know, the way that I do things is not actually a form of gatekeeping the craft necessarily, but ensuring that not only is my karma clean as somebody who's doing spell casting, but also the, the karma of the caster is clean as well. So the spell work is expensive. Not everybody's going to get get the spell work. It depends upon the results of a consultation. But yes, I am going to open my doors to do manifestation work with you. Again, the manifestation work is very expensive. I am not going to be talked down on the prices. I know they're fucking pricey. I'm not going to be talked down, all right? The prices are the prices. You've got the discounts on the allocated months. That's the end of it. There's nothing left to discuss. Okay. So I'm going to leave details of everything that I've done in the description. But yeah, it's time to get off the fence. It's time to get off the fence and it's time for me to, to be about my shit. And it's time for me to help other people. But 
again, the reason why I'm being so stringent with the screening is because this is a karmic thing that I'm doing. And I want to ensure that not only am I getting something out of it, but that I'm doing the most good. That's what I want to make sure of. Okay. So. Is that it for me? Hold on a second. I need to blow, blow my nose, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. This immune system is doing her thing. My God. Keep going, baby. Keep going. But yes, I'm not just going to be doing, from August onwards, I'm not just going to be doing tarot readings anymore. I'm also going to be doing spell casting. If that sounds like it's for you, then feel free to hit me up on the website in August. I'm going to start making changes from then. When it comes to the following readings with Chitra, first quarter moon, um, just like it was when mum died, it's likely that I will still do the readings, okay, ahead of each lunar phase. It's likely that I will still do it okay but um yeah it's it's gonna be that like the timing is gonna be a little bit chaotic but the rate the readings are gonna continue the readings are gonna continue it's just the pick a card readings that are kind of in jeopardy or i don't know i don't know babe i don't know what should i do no, just keep the readings as they are. Because I, I had an interesting idea. But like, no, I'm keeping the readings as they are. So it, most likely I'll still do the readings for each lunar phase. But yes, that's just an, an announcement of what you should expect from Empress Justice Tarot from this moment forward. <sighs> I'm going to lose a lot of people. I'm going to lose a lot of followers doing this. But I want to do as much good in the world as possible in the way that I know how. And get paid at the same time I'm not going to hold you. So that's it. Peace and blessings. I love you guys so much. Bye bye my darlings.